What is Meniere's disease? That's our topic today on Ask the Hearing Doctors. Hi, I'm Jim Cuddy, and this is Ask the Hearing Doctors, and I'm joined today by Dr. Ashley Wilcox, Dr. Adriana Martino, doctors of audiology with Hearing Doctors, the Washington, D.C. area's highest-rated audiology practice with over 1,500 five-star reviews. Adriana, Ashley, great to see you both. Thank yes, you. As well. So our topic today is Meniere's disease. What is Meniere's disease? Yeah, Meniere's disease is an inner ear disease. Um, and what it's caused by is an overproduction or a lack of absorption of endolymph. Endolymph is a fluid within your inner ear. Okay, Some symptoms that um, patients uh, may have um, if they were diagnosed with Meniere's disease is um, a low frequency sensory neural hearing loss that typically will fluctuate, um, dizziness um, in specific vertigo, which is the sensation of the room is spinning around you but you're sitting still, um, and then tinnitus, which is, um, most people think about tinnitus or tinnitus as something that's more of a high pitch ringing, but typically with Meniere's disease, you see something that's more of a low pitch roaring sound um, within their ears. Um, also oral fullness, the feeling of being stuffed up as well. Wow. Well, you would, do you always, are those always the, 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 the signs of it or? No, not always. And um, to be actually diagnosed with Meniere's disease, you actually are, we would refer out to an ear, nose and throat physician to give you that exact diagnosis. Um, it's, Meniere's disease is more something that we would assess and then refer out. Okay. All right. How common is Meniere's disease? So um, it's fairly common actually um, from the ages of 40 to 60 years old, and um, actually almost a million people in America have Meniere's disease. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, are there particular causes to Meniere's disease? So that's the thing. Meniere's disease is idiopathic, which means we don't know the cause of Meniere's disease. There are a couple um, uh, stuff that we'll figure out in your case history to maybe direct us towards uh, one possibility. So it could be head trauma, mm -hmm. allergies, um, genetics, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but we don't know the cause. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so how do you test for Meniere's disease? Yeah, so we would complete a comprehensive audiological evaluation. So we would take your case history, circling back to those symptoms that we discussed earlier. Do you have tinnitus? Is it that roaring sound? Um, do you have hearing difficulties? So that kind of gives us a cue about mm, what's gonna, what is this audiogram, what is this hearing test going to look like for us? Um, and then of course we'd look into your ears, we'd perform emittance testing which allows us to evaluate your middle ear system. And then of course the, the beeps, you would press the button and then that gives us a better picture of um, what's going on in your auditory system. Um, if the patient comes in and they express that they have some dizziness or some vertigo, we would actually refer out for a full vestibular evaluation to look at the integrity of the vestibular system itself. Um, another um, thing that's involved with Meniere's disease is a fluctuation of hearing loss. So we actually recommend that um, people who may be um, at risk or may have Meniere's disease that they come in and we test their hearing when they maybe feel like they can't hear as well or they feel like they're hearing better. So we can document that those episodes of Meniere's disease are occurring in that time and we can better adjust for that. Yeah. Are there treatment options? So we, no. So what we do is we refer you out to the ear, nose and throat physician and they would determine what treatment options they would give you. Is there a cure for Meniere's disease? So there's not technically a cure for Meniere's disease, and after we refer out to the ear, nose, and throat physician, the ENT, um, they can provide um, the patient with some lifestyle modifications and then give them their best recommendation based off from their symptoms and um, how it's impacting their life. Yeah, so they'll make it a little bit more manageable because it mm -hmm. is manageable to live with Meniere's disease. You just need some guidance on how you might need to change your lifestyle. Yeah. So, and they'll further help you with okay. that. 
Well, this is another fascinating conversation. Uh, thank you both for your time today. I really appreciate it, and we look forward to doing it again. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. If you're in the Washington metropolitan area and you'd like to schedule an appointment with hearing doctors, click the link in the description or visit hearingdoctors.com.